I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question on revenue. This is for grade 10 students. And I hope the concepts that you learn now will be applicable for grade 11 and 12 also. You may have to solve similar questions uh, in coming years. The question here is, a fast food restaurant determines that each 10 cents increase in the price of a burger results in 25 fewer burgers sold. The usual price for a burger is $2 and the restaurant sells 300 burgers each day. Find the optimum price for a burger and optimal revenue, right? So that's the question for you. So let's understand what is revenue. Revenue is the cost or the price times the number of items sold. So if you're selling 300 burgers each day, right? So number of items are 300, for example, and each is being sold for $2, right? In that case, the revenue will be two times 300, it will be two times 300. Do you get an idea? So that is the standard revenue for the restaurant at present. Now see what condition is given to us. For each 10 cent increase, that means if I increase the price from 2 to 10 cents means 0 0.10. For each 10 cent increase in price, burger results in 25 fewer burgers sold. So how many do I sell? I sell 300 minus 25. Do you see that? 25 less burgers sold. So the revenue in this case will be equal to product of these two. Do you see that? Now, what happens if I decrease the price by 20 cents? That is to say, I mean rather increase the price by 20 cents. So if I increase it by 20 cents, that becomes my price in dollars then the numbers of burger will be, so I have to multiply these, 300 minus 2 times 25. Do you get an idea? Since 20 cents is 2 times 10, correct? So that means if I increase the cost by n times 10 cents, in that case, the number of burgers sold will be much lesser, n times 25. Do you get an idea? So that becomes my revenue in terms of number of times, number of units of 10 cents. Do you see that? n is number of 10 cents increase in price, correct? So where n is number of 10 cents increase in price. Is it okay? So we get your equation. Now this equation is only in terms of R and N. So R is a function of number of N. Number of times you increase 10 cents, right? So that becomes your equation. Now we need to find optimal price and the optimal revenue. Now if you multiply this, you get your quadratic function in, yeah, this is factored form, so you get, you get it in standard form, and then you can do completing the squares to get your result, that is one, right? So one method could be expand, okay, so one method will be expand, and complete squares to find optimal revenue and optimal price. Do you see that? One method could be this and complete squares. So I'll leave this for you. I'll do the alternate method. So I'll do alternate method. So I'll use these two factors. So let's find zeros. So alternate method is find zeros. So for the first one, 
2 plus 0 0.1 n equals to 0 means n is equals to minus 2 divided by 0 0.1 which is minus 20 is it okay now for the second one if I equate 300 minus 25 n equals to 0 then 25 n equals to 300 or n equals to 300 divided by 25 right 25 times 4 is 100 times 3 is 12 so we get these two zeros for this function. Do you see that? Now, because this function, if you sketch, will be kind of like this. Correct? So, so what we have got here are two zeros. So one here, the other one here, right? So these two zeros are at minus 20 and at plus 12. So the average, which is the axis, is where? So we know the value of n, that is x is, for n is, add them, divide by 2. So it's minus 20 plus 12 divided by 2, which is 8 minus 8 divided by 2, which is minus 4. So the value of n is minus 4, right? So the value of n is minus 4, or, so you get n equals to minus 4, right? So when n is 4, what is the price? So the price is 2 plus, price is 2 plus, n is minus 4, minus 4 times 0 0.10, which is 2 minus 40 cents, right? 40 cents, 0 0.40, which is 1.60 dollars. So price in dollars will be $1.60. So our answer is, optimal price is dollar 1.60 now we need to find optimal revenue so revenue when n is n is minus 4 right so let's substitute minus 4 here we get 2 minus 0 0.40 times 300 if I do minus 4 here minus 4 times 25 correct okay? so so that gives you the optimal revenue and let's use the calculator so within brackets we have 2 minus 0.4 and the other bracket is 300 plus 4 times 25 which is 100 right so so 400 becomes okay and uh, uh, what did i do so let's convert to uh, to this. I mean, let's do it again. There's something wrong. So that becomes 1.60 times. Uh, this is 100, right? Times 400. Let me do this again. So 1.6 times 400, which is 640. So I did something wrong there. Maybe missed a bracket. Anyway, so that becomes my revenue in dollars. That is revenue in dollars. So optimal revenue equals to in dollars 640 do you see that so that is how you could use the factored form and answer correct so what we did was we found the equation for the number of increase of 10 cents number of decrease in sales was by n times 25 multiplying them we get revenue equating each factor to zero we found the zeros for our graph which were at minus 20 and 12. Average value of these two gives us the axis which was at minus 4. So, so n equals to minus 4 was the axis. Substituting minus 4 we got the optimal price of $1.60. So that means you have to reduce the price increase the sale so when you reduce the price to one dollar sixty cents you're able to sell 400 burgers right you're able to sell 400 burgers revenue will be 640 not 600 which was initially there so you increased your revenue by 40 dollars right so that becomes your optimal or the maximum profit or revenue i should say which you can have in the given situation I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, 
and keep posting questions. Thank you and all the best.